Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now based on whatever we have studied so far, let us try to attempt a few questions. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks. 1 lakh is equal to dash 10 thousands. So how many 10 thousands make 1 lakh? So let us quickly remember the positions of various digits in a number. It starts with units, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10 thousands, 1 lakh, 10 lakh and so on. Now for every one jump, there is a 10 involved, right? It's for every one jump. So for 10,000 to 1 lakh, so 1 lakh is a bigger number. So 1 lakh would be equal to 10, 10,000. 1 million is equal to dash 100 thousands. Now, just now we had learned that what is 1 million? 1 million is nothing but 10 lakhs, right? And what is 10 lakhs? 10 lakhs is 1 lakh is basically 100,000. How do we write 1 lakh? 1 lakh is this. So this is 1 lakh and this is how we write 100,000. So this is also called 100,000. It is just that this is Indian system of numeration and this is the international system. So basically 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs. That means 1 million is equal to 10 hundred thousands because 1 lakh is 100,000. So this would be 10. 1 crore is equal to dash 10 lakhs. So when again you remember this after 10 lakhs you have 1 crore. So again, 1 crore and 10 lakhs, they again have just one jump in between. So this would be 10, 10 lakhs. 1 crore is equal to dash million. <clears throat> again, let's come back to million. So million, 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs. So 1 million is 10 lakhs and that is what we have to write. So 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs. And what about 1 crore is equal to how many millions? So when it comes to 1 crore, 1 crore is again equal to 10 lakhs, right? Looking at this, you can say that 1 crore is equal to 10 lakhs and 10 lakhs is equal to 1 million, right? So 10 crores, what, so 1 crore would actually mean 10 million, right? Why? Looking at this, and this. So here you see 1 crore is equal to 10, 10 lakhs. And 10 lakhs is equal to 1 million. So that means this 10 lakh can be replaced with 1 million. So you are left with 10 million. So 1 crore is equal to 10 million. So please understand these concepts. So the only thing that you need to remember is one is this Positioning should be remembered and every time you are moving from right to left for every one jump you just keep multiplying 10. That's pretty simple and when it comes to million just remember that 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs. Everything else you can derive from this. Question number 2. Place commas correctly and write the numerals. So the first one is 73 lakh. 75,307. So how do we write this? So let us start writing it from the units place. So let's say this is unit, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs, crores, ten crores and so on. So now for the first one, 73 lakhs. So where should this be placed? In the lakhs. So it is 73 lakhs, 75,000, so 75,000 in the thousands place, 307, 307. 
Now, if you have to place the commas correctly, where should you place the commas? So the commas should separate the lakhs and the thousands from each other. So one comma after the lakhs, one comma after the thousands. And that's how we have written it in numeral. Let's look at the next one. 9 crore, 5 lakh, 41. So 9 crore, where is crore? This is crore. So 9 crore, 5 lakh. So 5 lakh, so here it, it, what would be in the 10 lakh place, this is going to be 0 because it is only 5 lakh, so this would be 0, 5. And 41, so 41 would be in the tens and units place, right? So what about the thousands place, they are going to be 0, the hundreds place is also going to be 0. Now when you have to place the commas, where will you put the commas? They should separate the crores, lakhs and the thousands. So this is how you would place the commas. So let's have a look at the third one. 77 crore, 52 lakh, 21,302. So 7 crore. So again, this would be here in the crores place. 52 lakhs. So this would come here. 52 lakhs, 21,000 would be here. 302. So this would be here. So this was pretty simple. Now that we have done the first two, the third one seems simple. So let's move ahead with the fourth one. 58,423,202. Now here looking at this million, you can distinguish that it is not following the Indian system. It is following the international system. So in international system, how would the placing would be? It would be units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. But instead of lakh, you will have hundred thousand then you will have 1 million, then you will have 10 million, then you will have 100 million. So this would be different in the international system. So now we will consider this international system. It, it says 58 million. So this 58 million would come in the millions range. Now in the millions range, you have three things, 100 million, 10 million, 1 million. So this would fall in the range of 10 million because you have 52, 58 million. So the 5 would be here, the 8 would be here. So this would make it 58 million, 423,000, that is 423,000. So here we again in thousands we have three places, right? So what are those three places that would be covered? 423,000. So this would be 400. 23 thousands. So all the three thousands plates has been covered. And then the last 202. So this would be 202. So this becomes 58 millions, 423 thousands and 202. Right? Okay. Now let's look at the last one which says 23 lakhs 30,010. So 23 lakhs again from here, 23 lakhs, 30,000 and 10. So 10 would be in the tens and units place. So the hundreds place will have a zero. So this is 23 lakh, 30,010. So basically whenever you have to write in numerals, first you write down the positioning of the digits like unit, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. Now depending on whether it is the Indian system or the international system, you write the positioning accordingly and then just reading the name, you start putting the digits at their appropriate places. Question number three. Insert comma suitably and write the names according to Indian system of numeration. Okay, so the first one, so it's, it's a eight digit number. So how do we place the commas appropriately? Now, even before we place the commas appropriately, first let us position the digits correctly. So here we have eight, seven, five, nine, five, seven, six, two. So this is the units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs, crores. 
So this is the positioning. Now can you place the commas correctly? So we have to separate the crores from lakhs and the lakhs from the thousands and the thousands from the rest of them. So let's separate the crores, then let's separate the lakhs, then, rest, then let's separate the thousands. So we have placed the commas correctly. So now it's very easy for you to write it. It is 8 crores, 75 lakhs, Ninety five thousand seven hundred sixty two Let's look at the second one. It says eight five four six two eight three. So let's again position the digits, units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs. So this is a smaller digit as compared to the first one. So let's separate the lakhs and the thousands and that's how we have placed the commas. So this would be 85 lakhs. 46,000. 283. So this is how we can name numerals. Doesn't matter how big they are. If we are able to position the digits correctly, then we will be able to do it appropriately. Question number four, insert commas suitably and write the names according to the international system of numeration. So let's get started with the first one. It is seven, eight, nine, two, one, zero, nine, two. So this is units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. Right? Because we are following the international system now. So what it would be? Let's separate the millions. Then let's separate the thousands. And then we have the rest of it. So from this we see that it is 78 million and 921,092. So this would be 78 million and 92. Let's look at the next one. It is seven, four, five, two, two, eight, three. So this is units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, million. So let's separate the millions and the thousands. So this becomes seven million. 452 thousands because all these three fall under thousands. So 452 thousands. So this is how we named it as for the international system of numeration. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.